Hi guys, welcome to daily technical forex forecast for the 30th of June. My name is Andrew Shaneski, I'm a technical analyst at TrueInfoFix. And traditionally we'll begin our forecast with the yearly weekly currency pair. Well, here we can see that the uptrend continues and after the creation of the strong uh, support level 1.1309, 1.1329, the price continued growing. So as you can understand all factors are for opening long positions if we take a look at our volume chart well you can see that really large vol volume is concentrated in this level and you see that the price grew up confidently and on increased volume which is very important so uh, of course we should consider opening long positions but from the current level it's impossible because the stop loss should be set below the level of support and you see that the distance is pretty large now so stop loss will be really huge and risk uh, risk profit rate will be very poor so we need to wait for a smooth correction of the price and then we can open long positions with the stop loss set here and wait for further growth of the price a potential the deal is around 100 pips. moreover very often after such a strong and abrupt uh, growth uh, uh, a correction follows so we should be careful but still long positions are in priority for the euro for the pound station totally the same after a strong growth of the price on increased volume uh, the, the pair continued growing as you can see from the chart our previous level of resistance was broken out but the breakout was smooth and without large volumes so we can trade this move also we need to highlight a global level of uh, support you can see that this level contains really large volume it's 1.2897 1 1.2900 uh, you can see it here so this is a crucial level for trading the pound so because it's a good place for our stop loss so the scenario for trading the pound is similar to the euro scenario because we can trade we can open long positions from the current level because stop loss will be really huge so we also need to wait for a smooth correction of the price and then we can open long positions with a stop loss set below the level of support and wait for further growth of the price the potential of the growth is around 100 110 pips so for the pound long positions should be in priority the yen well here situation is very interesting because after the growth of the price we saw a strong and abrupt fall you see that this fall was um, supported by pretty large volume so it uh, puts under the question the continuation of the growth and overall due to the weakening of the US dollar I expect the further fall of the price the continuation of this move and the breakout of the support 111 point 49 111.57 so it's a crucial level for us so if the price confidently breaks down this level and continue and continues falling we can open short positions with a stop loss set about the breakout volume bar and the potential of the deal the main target is a level 110.35 so for the yen after the breakout of the support we should open short positions the Canadian dollar well everything remains the same here we have a strong downtrend we have a level of resistance 1.3079 so the scenario also remains the same after the smooth corrections of price and small volume we open uh, short positions and wait for further follow the price a stop loss should be set above the uh, level of resistance so for the Canadian dollar short positions are in priority for the Australian dollar, well, here we need to see, uh, we need to highlight the new level of support. It's 0 0.7663, 0 0.7672. So it's a new level. It contains pretty large volume. It was created yesterday. So it, it is a good place for our stop losses. And we just need to wait for a good entry point. So I advise you to open um, to open long positions of course long positions because we have a strong uptrend uh, but we after a smooth correction of the price and we open uh, short, uh, long positions wait for further growth of the price a stop loss should be set 
below this level and the potential of the of the growth is around 60 pips so for the Australian dollar long positions should be in priority and our last instrument is gold well uh, despite the fall uh, of the US dollar against the all majors we saw a fall of gold against the US dollar against the greenback and a test of the support uh, also we need to highlight that the fall of the price uh, well was on medium volume but after the creation of after the appearance of strong volume on the market we saw a rebound of the price from the level of support and now the price gold is still trading in the consolidation and uh, of course of course we can trade this instrument only after the breakout of the stretch if we take a look at our volume chart uh, you can see that pretty large volume is concentrated in this range so after the breakout of the boundaries of this consolidation uh, most probable uh, most probably the price uh, start will uh, the price will start a local trend also we need to highlight uh, can a, a huge volume at the bottom of the yesterday's move and after such after the appearance of this volume the price rebounded up so we need to highlight two possible scenarios of how to trade gold now well the first one is a continuation of the yesterday's fall and the confident breakout of the support 1239.90 1241.70 and after that we can open short positions with the stop loss set about the breakout volume bar and the potential of the fall is around 150 pips the second scenario is uh, resumption of the growth and uh, the breakout of the technical resistance 1253.18 and after the fixation of the price above it we open long positions and wait for further growth of the price the target is the level uh, 1278.00 uh, and of course the plot should be set below the breakout volume bar so for gold uh, we need to wait for the exit of the price from the range if we take a look at the sentiment of the market well here we can see that our our uh, deals for the euro for the pound for the canadian and australian dollars are confirmed for gold you see that this indicator tell us tells us that we should give advantage to short positions for the japanese yen situation 50 50 but it's uh, okay because it seems like the market uh, wants to go down so it's some kind of reversal signal for the year so overall we have four pretty interesting scenarios for the euro the pound the canadian and australian dollars for the yen well we can trade it after the breakout of the support and for gold we just need to wait for the breakout of the consolidation then we can trade this instrument and enter the market so for today's all thank you guys for watching hope this forecast will be useful for you see you bye bye <music>